Hi, this is Jeff Hazel and I'm the Chief Marketing Officer for Eastman Kodak. I'm here in sunny California. I've been speaking with the IAB. Just finished up with a keynote. We're talking about Kodak's massive brand transformation, moving from what has been a more traditional company to a digital company and how we've survived. Then how we're using emotional technology to drive this transformation and to be a brand new company uh, on, the ski on the whole scope of things in terms of a new world, new order, with social media and everything else that's there to stay for a long time. One of our key messages was around emotional technology, about how we help the people make, manage, and move images and information, whether it's in their personal lives or in their business. We're primarily a B2B company today, but we still have a strong tie to our consumer business and how we bring that forward. So it's about sharing. And whether you're sharing a brochure or you're sharing a photograph, it's in that value of the sharing that makes us complete. When we start talking about emotional technology, we all know that Kodak moment. It's that moment that we all try to take that snapshot of and capture. And we do that now in brochures and we do that with photographs. And so it's a very tangible kind of thing. But it doesn't mean anything unless you share it. And so for us, it's important. So what we're starting to do is build that emotional technology into, say, our consumer products, such as our share button on our new Slice camera, which we just unveiled at CES where you actually just press the button and then it shares it to your Facebook account, to your Flickr account, to your gallery account, without you having to drag and drop and move things around and tag them with different names. Or facial recognition, so I can go onto the back of that camera and say this is Susan, my sister, and then find all of those pictures of Susan's just with one touch of a button. That's emotional technology and how you bring it to life. So marketing between a B2C marketplace and a B2B marketplace, they're a little bit different in terms of how you go about it, but the message can be the same. And it's important for a company if you're trying to stretch those marketing dollars to be able to have a you know, a halo message that be able to drive across both of those businesses, and we do our best with that. You know, we have you know, inkjet printers, which we do on the consumer side, which we talk about how we save you money on ink. At the same side, we have inkjet printers on the B2B side, which are $4 million in size, but 4,000 pages per minute, but drive that same emotional technology that we've talked about so that you can personalize your message and be able to make that pop, you know, on a credit card statement so you can match, you know, in trans promo, match exactly over here with a transaction with an ad on this side that ties to that transaction. So, again, utilizing that emotional technology to bring it out in different ways, but showing on the B2B side more about how we help your business to grow, and that makes a big difference for Kodak. As you can imagine, when I come to conferences like this, everybody then swarms you afterwards and tries to sell to you, which is great because that's how you find new vendors. At the same time, they've got to get that value proposition out just like I have to. I can just tell you a story about someone who came to me right after the talk and said they were disappointed because we spend a lot of money in research, meaning Kodak does, and yet we didn't pick his company. I said, well, geez, your value proposition must not be strong enough if you haven't gotten through because I spend $50 million in research and yet you're not part of our cachet of people, so you're not doing a very good job yourself. So for us, it's about in 118 seconds, and this is how I describe it. You got eight seconds is the average attention span of an adult, 110 seconds is the average elevator ride. So you got eight seconds to hook me, 110 seconds to sell me, and if you can't provide that value statement in there, really don't want to hear it, but it's about how you help me drive sales, because that's really what I care about. When you look about, you know, is it ROI, all ROI, I don't know about return on investment, because I also talk about return on ignoring. So for us to be able to get the message out there is very important, but in the end, it's always got to lead to sales. Kodak used to be the longest standing Olympic sponsor. We were the first one in in 1896, and in Beijing, we decided to step away from it to be able to focus our efforts on other kinds of marketing activity. I think it's important for companies, when you look at event marketing, to be able to have things that tie to who you are today. You know, for us, the Olympics was a major portion of our activity from 1896 up through the Beijing Olympics. We love the Olympics. But our company changed. As our company changed, we needed to find, you know, places or, you know, events that tied to our B2B customers. And the PGA Tour was one of those that we found where we have, you know, 100,000 business leaders that are our customers. What primary sport do they watch? It happens to be golf. So it made perfect sense for us to be able to do it. So that's where we focused our time and effort in moving forward as a company.
So given that, are you excited for Tiger Woods to come back on the tour? We, uh, anything, <laughs> whether or not we're excited about Tiger Woods, we're always excited about people who want to play golf and do it right. Uh, what they do on their own personal time is up to them. When you think about measuring your success, and everybody's caught up right now and what's the ROI and what's your measurement metrics and so forth, I, for the most part, the first thing I tell most marketers is just trust their gut. You know, you know whether or not it's working, whether or not it's driving sales. Now, for us, it's about conditions of satisfaction. And really early on, Kodak sets in every campaign, what are our key measurements that we want to focus on? What's the purpose of a meeting, for instance? What's the purpose of the campaign? And so we want to be able to drive those key metrics. Is it NRR, net realized rate? You know, it, the, are those the things that we want to drive? Is it in terms of pull through? Is it awareness and those kinds of activities? So it's really important for a company to set its conditions of satisfaction up front, know what those are, and then stick to them and not second guess yourself. We think online video is going to play a more and more important part in people's lives and in business. In fact, you look at the search engines, videos draw a lot higher at the, at the front end in terms of search. So videos are going to be more important. We just actually just launched at the PMA show here this last weekend, uh, video to pick. So you can actually you know, go through frame by frame in a video and actually print to it, which is awesome and a great kind of tool to use. But more people are capturing Kodak moments by, by video. And video is a great way to do some education, so we're utilizing video pretty heavily. We've also launched a line of HD pocket video cameras, which are the number one sellers. And so uh, we're going to continue to, to invest in this area because people like to be able to share that way. And it's a great way you know, to, to have a problem with a product and all of a sudden you know, cut a video with a handheld video camera uh, very easily and make everybody a video star and then get that out as quick as possible. Kodak's been very involved in supporting those people who are creative. We've always been supporting creatives for years, whether it's been in print, now and certainly photograph and photography, but now it's also in video. We do that with the Mo Film series. We've been sponsoring user-generated ads. That's been a big thing. Just finished up in Barcelona. We got another one coming up in Tribeca. We'll do another one in, in London, another one in Shanghai. So they're all over the place. And, and so we're, we're sponsoring that kind of creativity everywhere there is in the world. Innovation's always been important to Kodak. I mean, from the time George Eastman said, push one button and we make, we do the rest. I mean, that's what he, you know, that's what he was about. He said he wanted to make photography as easy as writing with a pencil. And so he's been, you know, behind us in that effort all the way around. So innovation is important. I, I make a joke about being in Rochester, New York, that it's so cold we got nothing better to do but invent things. And Kodak's a very innovative company from that perspective. We invented you know, a lot of the uses and in, in things in photography and digital imaging and printing and will continue to be a very innovative company.